Civil servants in Zimbabwe have rejected an 11% salary increment. They say it's simply not enough to raise their wages above the poverty line. President Emerson Mnangagwa's government has offered workers over there a hike in the wake of industrial action by doctors and nurses and threats to do the same from other public servants. Farai Mukutuya starts us off tonight. The country's main workers' union accuses government of trying to force the negligible increment, which it says doesn't take into account the fact that real wages have lost over half their value since the introduction of bond notes. Let's look at um, the 11% uh, they are offering. How much is it going to uh, take the levels of the lowest paid teacher? It means the lowest paid teacher is going to be around 500 American dollars. That is, not, that is less than a poverty datum line. I think 50% will do better. It will raise the salary increases to around 600, which is above the, the poverty datum line. That's what we are expecting the government to put on the table. The cash-strapped government is likely to risk ballooning its debt and derailing Breton Woods' prescribed fiscal remedial measures to keep the door open for further negotiations ahead of crucial polls. For you to work with the IMF, you must be a government in power. And to be a government in power, you must win votes. And votes come from citizens. These are the very people who are clamoring for these increments. Emerson Mnangagwa has already promised to increase Liberation War veterans' allowances and recently paid nurses their outstanding dues. Any increment, no matter how big, is only likely to be a temporary victory for workers. Normally, when wages go up, so too do the prices of goods and services, and that's likely to erode their newfound purchasing power, putting workers back in the same predicament where they begun. The only way to end the vicious cycle is to get industries up and running again. The problem is not in the wages, it's in the cake that has continued to shrink. Caters of corruption and a host of other problems. So I've got a production problem, not a wage bill problem. Restive workers have ruled out an industrial action for now, saying they are ready to follow laid down collective bargaining procedures towards reaching a mutual settlement. Farai Mokutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.